Aloha. Hey, y'all. It's William. And today we're going to talk, actually, next uh, few sessions, we will talk about Google Drive and Google Docs and um, what those are and how to use them and um, what's so great about them and disadvantages of them, too. OK, so let's mosey on to our first slide here. And what we got, what we got. So we'll talk a bit about Google Drive. And uh, Google Drive, it's, it's one of the services that Google has. You can upload files, download them, uh, create different documents, different kinds of documents. Of course, you can edit it. Uh, you can do a lot of sharing. And all this is on the cloud, OK? So if you heard of the cloud, that's, that's just online storage. Just things are stored um, uh, on, uh, what, on the internet. You can access them using a browser. OK, so let's talk. Uh, I, I kind of said a little bit about this already. But uh, of course, there are going to be uh, disadvantages, um, oh, advantages and disadvantages. We'll do advantages first of, of the cloud. Uh, one thing is, well, the documents store in the cloud, you can access them uh, anywhere that you do have uh, internet access. OK, so um, wherever you go, as long as you can hook up to the internet, you're, you can access your files. It's a little bit more difficult to lose data. Um, and uh, what else? Also, the uh, lots, of, lots of storage space. OK. And then finally, um, what? Everything's stored in one place. OK, instead of maybe uh, you got it stored on your laptop and then some other stuff stored on, uh, on your um, USB drive and then the other stuff stored, say, on some kind of CD somewhere. And then I oh, may know it's on your buddy's laptop somewhere and some's on the email stored on that. So Google Drive is great. It's all in one place. Um, you, you can access it from anywhere. So, you know, if, if, as long as you have internet access, you're, um, you know, even if you're, what, at some other campus, you're going to two or three campuses, or you're at work, or, you know, a coffee shop, hey, you still can access your files. Um, and then, you know, a lot of times, uh, if you put things on the USB drive, what happens to that USB flash drive? Usually, uh, not always, but a lot of times, it gets lost, okay? So, you know, or maybe your, your, your dog ate it and you can't turn in your homework now, okay? So it's a little bit harder for your dog to eat uh, Google or Google Drive. Uh, you might need something like an excuse like, oh, the super volcano went off on the mainland and destroyed all of Google servers, so I can't access my homework. So you might use something like that instead. At any rate, so there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of advantages to the cloud and storing things with the Google Drive. Now, there are a few disadvantages. Let's, let's check that out. OK, so some disadvantages, though. Well, uh, anyone with your username and password can access um, your data from anywhere, OK? So you really got to have um, a strong password. You know, make sure you don't just use one, two, three, four, five, six, or something like that. And then some other things that you really can't control, though, like where, where is it stored? We don't really know where it's stored, um, presumably on some server at Google and then some computer at Google. And then what's being done with your data? OK, so you know, if you're worried about um, people finding out information about you or using information about you, you know, someone else has your data. Um, probably Google is doing some kind of you know, data mining, so looking for patterns in the data and that kind of stuff. Um, so you're probably going to be pretty anonymous, all right? But you, know, you, just, you never know. Your data is somewhere else, and someone else has access to it. So you, you got that trade-off that you, you need to think about, OK? Um, I mean, you could go to one extreme. Uh, my optometrist has um, unhackable medical records, he says, because they are all paper, OK? So yeah, again, paper, that's, that's a, a different kind of advantage and disadvantage. OK, so let's, let's see what we got next here for y'all. Uh, I think next we're talking about sharing. Sharing is, is good for everybody, OK? It feels good to share with someone and, and to be the, the sharey. At any rate, so it's easy to share files with other people with Google Docs. Really? OK. Yeah, it is. 
Uh, you can collaborate. Uh, usually that's like the magic word in, in education this, these days. Tell your professor you want to collaborate with somebody and they'll, they'll be very happy for the rest of the week, I bet. Uh, you can store uh, any kind of file on the Google Drive, upload any kind of file, and you can also make and share folders. So it's, it's great for sharing um, data and files with other people. Okay. Um, you know, even turning it in to your professor or something, you can share that way. Okay, so Google Docs, what kind of things do we have with Google Docs? Uh, we have all kind of files that we can create and um, edit, modify on this Google Drive. Uh, you got written documents, uh, the kind of overall name for Google Docs is Google Docs, but it's also written documents. You got sheets, so that's spreadsheets. Uh, we also have the slides, Google Slides. And uh, forms, so you know, surveys, you can do questionnaires, and then even uh, drawings as well. And uh, you know, we're not limited just to these, um, what these particular kinds of files. So there's also um, third-party software. So there's there's other kind of files. Um, we have a database class, and a lot of times uh, we use. Uh, another program that's good for drawing the, the, the data best, data based, uh, data best uh, diagrams. Uh, we call them ER diagrams, uh, Entity Relationship Diagrams. That's ICS 113, that's our database class. But at any rate, when we do our, our assignments, so I have them put on the Google Docs. Again, it, it's hard to lose that way. Um, once they finish the assignment, uh, they can uh, show me in class, or you know, as long as you have a browser, you can show me that, or we can, um, you know, if it's an online student, they can share that document with me. And we do group projects, we can collaborate. This Google Docs stuff is awesome. Okay, so, and then, okay, next uh, few uh, lectures, we'll, we'll talk in detail. Okay, what's the docs, what's the sheets, what's the slides, forms. Uh, we'll even do, um, see how we can do Google Sites. We can make a website with Google. So it's, it's, um, all these uh, free tools, I guess it's free, cause, uh, free because uh, you're a student, um, but take, make sure we take advantage of these great uh, tools from Google that we can use to store our, our work and collaborate and, and learn lots of new cool stuff. Okay. All right, so let's, let's uh, get in some more details now about how this stuff works. And where it's at, okay, where is the Google Drive? So let's, let's see, how are we going to open the Google Drive? Okay, so to open your Google Drive, all you need to do is uh, open up a browser. Uh, Chrome is the Google browser, so that's probably one of the better ones to use for Google Docs. But it works in any browser, Firefox, um, you know, Opera, um, all these other browsers, Internet Explorer. So then you want to log into your UH email account. Okay, I'm just telling you all that because um, it's probably the one uh, link that you have for sure. So you can just log into your email, again, the UH email. And then, let's see, next step here. So it's kind of on the top right, you'll see um, the apps icon. So it's like a three by three set of squares. And that should be next to your email name, okay, your UH email name. So you'll see those squares there. So you'll click on that. And that'll take you to a little pop-up menu thing. And there's different uh, things here, you like searching or sites, or you got your mail, calendar even. Um, and you see the docs there. You don't want to click on that one, though. Click on the drive, OK? Uh, so we'll click on drive, and um, then that's pretty much it. That's how you get to the Google Drive, OK? So that'll open it with a, a new tab on your browser, and then, uh, then you're all set. So uh, that's how you get to the Google Drive. Again, it's, it's just it's a place uh, on the cloud, so online, where you can store uh, all your documents. Okay, again, we can, we can upload files, we can make folders, um, we can do all kind of stuff. And I'll, I'll show you a live example next time. Uh, we'll do uh, the, the, the docs. Um, Google Doc uh, next time. Um, but anyway, I'll just, this time I'm showing you kind of the, the overall view. Okay, let's show a little bit more before we call it a day. So two more things here. 
Uh, first of all, we'll, we'll show how to create folders. So it's pretty simple. You'll have this uh, little menu uh, actually on the left. And um, let's see, we'll, we'll click on the new button. And then uh, below that, you should see uh, a place to click on folders. OK. And um, we'll, we'll click on the folder. And then you'll have a chance to, to enter the name of your folder. So instead of new folder, you might want to give it a more, uh, uh, more better name. OK. I think the best name for any folder is ICS100. It's the best name ever, man. OK. So, Seriously though, you want to have a folder called ICS100 to store all your, your Google Docs and stuff uh, for this class, for ICS100. And then, um, yeah, then, then just, just click on the Create button and then you got your folder, man. It's as easy as pie. We all know how easy that is. <laughs> okay. At any rate, so that, that's the steps we're going through to create a folder. So once you get your folder, you know you want to upload all the documents that you you created so far in this class. Okay. So next next slide here, we'll see how we do that. And um, so so to uploading files, pretty simple. Just go to to the menu again, click on the new button, and uh, file upload in this case. And then uh, just double click on the file you want to upload, and then boom, and it's on your account. Okay, so um, that's all we have for today. Again, next time I'll, I'll show y'all um, kind of a live uh, uh, view there of how to do this stuff. And that's it for today, so aloha.